Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of area and volume. This is standard 6.8D in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 7 off the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So this looks like a very strange problem, but that's because we are supposed to measure with a ruler that never really translates to a screen. So I actually printed out these pages from the release star test, printed them up, and then cut them out so that you could see. So we have a rectangle right here, and I was trying to show you the rectangle without necessarily covering the words of the problem here. So here is our rectangle. We're looking for the length and the width. So you can see from our provided ruler of centimeters, which we're supposed to be doing, centimeters, that we have a length here of four centimeters. That's pretty easy. And this width here or is probably, you see the zero is not necessarily lined up. It's actually just, I didn't get it perfect, and it's a little bit below the 5, so you can just imagine if we take this 0 and this 5, and we just kind of move it down just a little bit, we're going to get about 5 cm. Now, here is our problem. As you take your 5 and your 4, we know how to do area. And if we're not careful, we are just going to think, oh, that's easy. Area equals 20 centimeters squared. Or we can say 20 square centimeters. Two things should immediately give us pause. First, would you notice that all of your centimeters are not in squared? They're actually in cubed. That's a little bit odd. That cubed is that little 3 exponent. And they also give us height. And what are we supposed to do with this 12? Well, once we pull out our ruler and we measure this, if we actually stop to read this problem, look what it says. This rectangle with an area of 20 square centimeters is the base of a rectangular prism, right? So we've got this rectangular prism here. I'm going to draw this rectangular prism, and we see it's going to be three dimensions. And what we have here is just the base. So if we look at it like this, right, we are going to see that our rectangular prism has got a base right here. Let's call this 20 centimeters squared. That's the area because we have 5 cm here. We've got 4 cm here, but if we're looking for volume, which is what we need, volume then we actually need the height which they provide for us so we're going to take this 20 we're going to mark it off it's close if we're just looking for a two-dimensional area but we're looking for a three-dimensional volume so we need the height and they just give it to us as 12. so that's that third measurement that we need is that 12 centimeters so how do you find the volume of a rectangular prism? Well, there's two different things we can do. You can do length times width times height. So in this case, we can do length times width. That's going to be 5 cm times 4 cm times our height, which is this 12 cm. Or the other option is sometimes you'll see base times height. Base times height. And all that they're doing is we're just taking our length times width and we're just combining that into our base. We already know what our base is. We did the 5 times 4, so that is going to be 20 cm squared times our height of 12 cm. Well, Either way you, you get it, you're going to get 20 times 12. That's going to be 240 cm cubed. It is cubed because we're dealing with volume. That is a three-dimensional measurement, and so we're looking at D.